Yes. Yes, get ready with the session. Take your notebooks. Keep everything ready. Creativity, 14th February, 2022. So, the session commences. Right. So, the session commences. So we have this case notes, number five, official case notes, number five. 
official case notes number five. Okay. So what are important things? I'll just recall. Okay, this is one important thing. So what you do is just important things you feel, whatever important things you feel, which will go into the letter, you make a notes. Make notes. For example, today's date is 15 May 2021. This is definitely this will go to the. So what you have to do is you have to underline or you have to write them in your notebook. So make make a plan. So fine. Now I'm going to take letters for the regular students. Okay, this session is uh, open, but for the regular students, every day three letters are there. Okay, so now what I want you to do is, uh, yeah. Now here, option A, first option, option A. So daily, same letter, okay, three times a day. That means morning session, morning, afternoon, evening. This is one letter, three times a day. That means morning by same, afternoon by same, evening by same, number one. Or number two, option B. Option B. Option B is two letters per day. So one morning, one evening. Okay. So two, this is option two. Option three. Option C. Three letters per day. So three letters per day. This is for regular students. You can attend all the three. No problem. Morning batch or afternoon batch or evening batch. You can attend all the three. So separate letters. Three separate letters. Three separate letters. Okay. Three separate letters. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, in the evening now you have to say so one okay one or two or three these are your choices 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 these are your choices think about it you want one letter per day or two letters per day or three letters per day if you want me to teach same letter three times or uh, different different letters different times so that whichever you want you are comfortable you can take so these are 100 letters 100 let days 100 letters 100 letters program 100 letters program okay 100 letters program so daily 3 into 30 days 90 letters plus 10 total 100 letters we are going to learn in 30 days so, whichever is your choice, one letter or two letters or three letters, you can mention there. Sir, you teach one letter, that only will write. Or you teach two letters, we'll select any one and write. Or you teach three letters, okay, we'll select which is we like the most and we'll write. So, at our own comfort. So, this is the choice. Now, you give your choice. Submit your choice. One, two, three. Submit your choice. You can write number one or number two or number three according to your choice. Yeah, here only you can submit. Submit your choice here. In the chat box. Yeah. Nobody wants any letters, one or two or three. Write down one number, one or two or three. That's it. Write your choice. 
there are some students who are writing three letters per day that is divya divya is writing three letters per day very good divya i like your style i like your style yes so at least seven students are giving me the response maximum option one or two or three letters how many letters you have to write yes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 okay and seven. okay seven students very good so you are a nurse this is important and old town hospital this is important okay he is now ready to be discharged discharged okay george gail mr then date of birth is here and age is also here okay so uh, you have to see like this which is important write a letter of discharge discharge letter this is discharge letter and the address is miss gold miss jane gold okay head nurse head nurse primrose nursing home primrose nursing home 3 blackwood street old town old town so here it is so these are the five this is address senders to the address sending address and it is a discharge letter and you have to briefly outline briefly outline mr gales history so write about his history as well as your concerns your concerns and your recommendations so these are the things you have to write you have to write his history your concerns and your recommendations these are the things you have to write so you are writing to the nursing home so you are writing to the nursing home primrose nursing home and you are writing regarding further care so you are writing regarding further care so this also will go further care required so these are the things which are very important okay fine so these are the concerns these are the concerns you remember these are the concerns that is what he is telling concerns and recommendations discharge to nursing home for temporary care this is for temporary care that is very important temporary care so that is recommendation temporary care okay now next one okay so you have seen here very clearly now this is the address okay so now here number 1 number 1 component number 1 is what okay recipient's address 
or E C I P I E N T recipients address to whom you are sending. Okay, that is what you are going to write. So one point one. Okay, one point one. What you will write? One point one. First line in the recipient address. That is, you will write, uh, yeah, Miss Jane Gold. Next one point two. Head nurse. One point three means third line. Primrose. Nursing home, all capital letters. Number four, one point four three, Blackwood Street. Number one point five, Old Town. Yeah, finished. This is the address. You are going to write the address here. Okay. You are going to write the address here. Okay, now I am taking you to Telegram channel. From there, I am opening for you uh, quality check answer sheet. What you have to do is go to quality check here. Type there in the search bar here. Then you will get here quality check. Okay. Then you will get quality check answer sheet. So here it is quality check answer sheet. You can just uh, download. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So, right. Mm, yeah, save as. Okay. Fourteenth February. Okay, quality check answer sheet. Letter. Chris Gale. Okay, quality check answer sheet. Okay. Fine. So here it is. Letter. Nursing. Okay, lecture. Chris, sorry, What's the name uh, Gale, George Gale, Mr. George Gale, Mr. George Gale. Okay, so we got this. So in the second paper, you print out second page 30 copies and third page 30 copies, then it will be easy for you. Okay. Right. So here you are going to write this. Okay. This one. So there it is. Okay, fine. Okay. Right. Miss Jane Gold. So, head nurse. Primrose Nursing Home. Three Blackwood Street, Old Town. Five different things are there here. Five different things are here. And now I'm going to write the labels here. What are they exactly? So this is the recipient's address. Okay, recipient's address. 1.1 will be the name. The name, 
then 1.2 will be the designation the designation okay i want to ask you one thing before moving further do you want me to rush past within short time this is number 1 is equal to uh, number 1 okay you can say 1 is equal to uh, fast track fast track lecture one is equal to fast track lecture or do you want me to clear everything that is my style that is number 2 slow motion so you want one or two one or two come on hit the button fast i have 15 seconds no more 15 seconds one or two i don't understand anything one means fast two means slow motion one means your style two means my style you want my style or you want your style you think one means your style fast track speed 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 two is my style slow and learn everything okay on your demand public demand i'm going to take the lecture today on public demand yeah so number 3 is because many people don't know anything they just to go and write something and come we should not do such mistakes so these are the things these are the labels for this our letter okay these are the labels for our letter number 3 is the facility the facility the name of the facility okay or the name of the hospital number 3 the uh, uh, street the street or the okay next one is the town or the country the town or city so these are the things name designation facility street town or name designation town state country anything it may be there five labels so that is it you got the five things here you got the five things here so that is it fine <coughs> right and then afterwards you leave one line one line you have to leave one line you have to leave yeah we can see that so one line you are supposed to leave right so that's it నేను మళ్ళీ ఫోన్ కాల్ చేస్తుంది
So right. So we have these five lines. So now I will move further only if every one of you understand. Component component. Okay, letter component zero zero one. This is called the recipient's address. Okay, is everything clear? So yes or no. If you say yes, we'll move forward. The first line should be capital letter. I'm going to tell you the rules now. Never do mistakes in these things, which I'm telling you now. Never do any mistake, even by mistake. Okay. So right. Okay. Uh, high floating meeting controls. It will not take much time. So if we learn systematically, it will not take much time. So this is the first one. That is the address. Okay. Now, that is the address. Think about this cover, sir. Think about in that this cover, sir. How many? At this cover. Yeah, actually, we have five sir. Okay. Right. Now you see here, M should be capital letter. Don't write in the first line. Don't write in the first line, leave because it is a little confusing and messy here. So leave the first line and start from the second line. Nobody is going to punish you for that. So M should be capital letter. J should be capital letter. G should be capital letter. So like that. Every first letter should be capital letter. H should be capital letter. N should be capital letter. P capital letter. N capital letter. H capital letter. That means in the address everywhere it should be capital letter. Every word should be capital letter. Every word should be capital letter. Every word should be capital letter. Remember that. Okay. So this is how you are going to write. And uh, between two words, you should leave one line. Okay. Who is there? Who can uh, write my points very clearly? Whom can I give this job? Okay, two people I'll give. Karuna. 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 Hello, Karuna. Can you unmute? Hello, Karuna. Hello. Yeah, I want you yeah, to write good points which I am telling, okay? Okay, okay. And afterwards, uh, submit me so that I'll put it okay. in the book, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, I'll uh, make copy because, in notebook. Because make notes so that uh, uh, make notes and submit. Mm. Okay, whatever yes, points sure. I'm telling, make notes and submit so yes. that we can do to all the students after. Because while teaching, yes. if you focus, then I'll miss some points. So that's why. Number two, okay. number two whom can I give? I don't know many people. Uh, so there is a, um, Karuna. Pradnya. Hello, Pradnya. Yes, sir. You also right. Okay. Okay. If she yes, by mistake, if she misses any points, so we'll club those things. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm telling you many points, so write down. Okay, yes, fine. Yes, sir. So here, um, right. Okay. 
right when you are writing the address you have to write in five lines the first line is the name of the recipient in the second line you will write the designation in the third line you will write the name of the facility or the hospital or the clinic or whatever you call it number 4 is the street name or the village name and the fifth one is the town or the city or the state or the country so five lines you are going to write all together five line address is really wonderful so you are supposed to write in five lines that will be better for you if you are not given all the letter components then you can eliminate those things because they are not given so how are you supposed to write you cannot create your own address so what is given that only you have to use what points are given those only you have to use so better it is always uh, take from the case notes only and this will be available in the writing task area that is in the second page bottom last part so writing task there you will get the five components of the address five sub components of the address take carefully and when you are writing don't do any spelling mistakes avoid spelling mistakes that is the point very important thing avoid spelling mistakes the next one what you can do is so every word is a distinct and it is very important so what you are supposed to do is you have to write capital letter for every word in the address if you do not write capital letter it is a punctuation mistake and you will lose your mark don't think that you are going to get that mark many people they don't bother about the address and other things they also have marks they also have marks they also are related to the letter if you write everything perfectly you will get 450 above so that is the point maybe because of this you will get marks so don't try to neglect anything so write a capital letter for every word in the address every word capital letter should be the beginning and the remaining letter should be small for example old town old town is one word or two words if it is one word o will be capital letter if it is two words that will be first letters both will be capital letter so remember that next between two words you have to leave one letter space leave one letter space between two successive words for example between one word and the next word the gap should be single letter space you can see that is single letter space so three rules are there first one is capital letter for every first letter of the word every word number 2 small letters for the remaining letters of the word other than first letter the first letter and next one between two words there should be single letter space there are many people who write two or three letter spaces so that is wrong all right and next one is after the address you have to leave one line leave one line after the address
fine. So these are the five different things. Afterwards, leave one line. After every component is finished, leave one line. Many people write a date first and address next. next. But always write the address first and date next because that is always there in the official documents. So see here, I'll give you official sample. See here, official sample. This is official sample. So you can see here. You can see here. Now you can see which is first, which is next. This is official letter. This is not my letter. This is from the official website. You can see there. So, address is first and date is next. So why don't you follow the same pattern? Why do you want to create your own style? Why do you want to listen to some Tom, Dick and Harry? Don't listen to Mr. Simon also. Simon is an ordinary teacher. Okay. So don't listen to Simon sir also. Listen to OET. OET is giving some models. Follow those models. That's it. Right? Follow those models. Okay. Okay. Right. Now let us see here. This is the example. First is address. Then next is date. And date the month is written in full. It is not written short. Some people write a CPT, finish, leave it. No, don't do that. Okay, so see the official sample, right? Official sample and follow that. That's it. So first one is called title and the first name and the second name and the designation and the name of the facility, Primrose Nursing Home, where he's going. Then name of the street and name of the town, five different things. Afterwards, leave one line, that's all. No more, simple and easy. Where will you get this? You will get here. Okay. You'll get here in the writing task. So this is the writing task. You'll get in the writing task. Here is the writing task. Miss Jane Gold, head nurse, Primrose Nursing Home, 3 Blackwood Street, Old Town. Here also it is given, but it is given just to Miss Gold. So don't take from here. Take from here Miss Jane Gold, like that one. See from where it is full address, there only you take. So then only it will be beneficial for you. Okay. Right. Right. So that is clear. Now having done this, now we are going to the date. Where will we go for the date? Where shall we go for the date? Let us see. Let us see where we'll go for the date. Date here. This is ready for discharge. 15 May 2021. Here is one date. And you see in the beginning he will give today's date. But you don't have to worry. It will be the same date of the examination. When you are writing something, it will be the same date of the examination. Titi? Same date of the examination. So the same date of the examination. So same date of the examination. So, so 15 May 2021. So you will be writing 15 May 2021. So, you write 15 May 2021. Take this one. Copy text. 
So now you're going there. Okay, here. Leave one line and then you write here. So 15 May 2021. It should be straight from top to bottom like this. Straight from top to bottom. Okay. So, right, this is the date. Two. Two is right. The date. Two is the date. Okay. Now you should remember the seven components. The seven components. These are the seven components of an OET letter. These are the seven components of an OET letter. Where I'll put, okay. Um, okay. I'll put it here in the previous page. So the seven components. Yeah. These are the seven components of an OET letter. Okay. The seven components. Yes. So here it is. So write down these seven components. Okay. So these seven components, note down. If you follow these seven components, that is enough for you. Yeah. Right, the seven components of an OET letter, the address, the date, the salutation, the reference, the body, the closing remarks. So those points, okay. Yes. So I'll post them here. Where is this? Yeah. Yes. So these are the seven components of an OET letter. Okay. I'll post this one in your uh, all right, blue. Okay, that's it. So seven components of an OET letter. These seven components, I will, yeah, here, there. So that's it. So seven components. I'll give you all this, okay, in the Telegram channel. I'll post this, all these things, don't worry. So these are the seven components. Yes, the seven components. So second one is the date. Second one is the date. Now let us take the date. So 15 May 2021, we have taken the date. Now what you are supposed to do is, Leave another line. Leave another line. 
So leave and then plan. Better. So fine. The date. Okay. Next. So the date is done. Next one is what? The salutation. The salutation. Salutation will write here. Salutation. Next. Now, how you will write the salutation? Uh, salutation you will take from the address only. So you are writing to Miss Gold. Here is salutation. This, this is from where you have to take the salutation. So here. Dear Miss Gold. Dear Miss Gold. This is for salutation you have to say. So there you can write. Uh, okay. So salutation is 2.0. Point 0.2. Dear. Dear. Miss. Gold. That's it. Dear Miss Gold. Dear number one. Miss title, gold second name. Second name is used for adults. Okay, 18 and above, use second name. Okay, below 18, you use first name. So, dear Miss Gold, this is what you are going to write. So, here, yeah, Miss Jane Gold, from here, no need to go anywhere. Here only you can take. Okay, control C. So, you can write there. Okay, so that's it. Miss Gold. So here you can say dear. Dear Miss Gold, finish. That's it. Straight line, top to bottom, it should be straight line. Okay. Next to leave another line. Leave another line, finished. Every time you write one component, you leave another line. Then you have the fourth component that is the reference. The reference line. Reference line is here regarding whom? Okay, regarding whom? Regarding Mr. Gale. So where will you get the full details of Mr. Gale in the beginning? Because introduction will be there. George Gale, Mr. So regarding Mr. George Gale. Okay, regarding colon immediately. Colon should be immediately. Regarding yeah, Mr. George Gale, comma. Regarding Mr. George Gale, comma. So title, first name, second name, comma. 24 APR 1936. So date of a DOB, colon, 24 April uh, 1936. 1936. So Mr. George Gale, date of birth, 24 April 1936. Write like that. Then leave another line. Leave another line. So you know now what, what it is. Okay. So number three. Number three is this is okay. So salutation the salutation the salutation next number four is the subject line 
or the reference line the subject or a reference okay or regarding whatever you want to use you can use just that is a title and label that's all fine yeah next so now one is over two three and four two three and four i'm asking you one question okay now number two component number two components now i am talking about components components okay two is the date Number three is the salutation. Number four is the subject. Okay, of the letter. Subject of the letter. Yes. Now two, comma three, and four components I have explained. Okay. Okay, is the concept clear? Say yes or say no. Because we are moving to the next step. We are moving into the next step. So four are over now. One, two, three, four are over. These are called the preliminaries. The preliminaries before the body of the letter. The preliminaries before the body of the letter. So these are also important. Don't think that they are not important. Okay. They are very important. Everything is important. Otherwise, it will not be there only. So these are finished. So now next okay next point so shall we move to the closures closures okay we are moving to the closures so we are closing things these are the beginning things these are the beginners and those are the closures so we are moving to the ending now so this will go into the second paragraph second page so this is first page in the beginning you write all these four then leave this is body this complete letter you will write body of the letter and in the second page also from here till here somewhere you write okay let us take from here now closures this is point number six so somewhere here we can stop the letter so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10. So let us stop here. So let us take from here. So this many lines we can leave. Okay. Right. According to our handwriting and all. So here you can write the sixth component. Okay. The closing remarks. Yours sincerely. Okay. Comma or no comma. Yours sincerely, comma or no comma. Or yours faithfully. Here the name is given. Here the name is given. What name is given, you know. The name is... Uh, okay. You are writing to whom? The name is given. That is Gold. Miss Jane Gold. Name is given. If Jane... Name is given. If name is given... Okay, you take that one and... Pillow also you bring them. Two pit, both of them you bring. No problem. That one, this one, both. Back pain eh? and getting a lot of back pain. Both you bring. No problem. Is it? I have, I have sent one second, please. Okay. Take your dispatient. You have a lot of brains. So you are. Um, Okay, use your apply your brains. No need to ask me. Okay, so 
check us you sit and check whether it is comfortable or not back pain hmm? both you be Uh, yeah, because I sit for long hours, no, from morning till evening till night, nine o'clock. If I start night till ten, twelve o'clock, I will sit like that. Too much pain. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. no, both, both, you, both you, no problem. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, so sorry, dear. So here, dear Miss Gold. If dear Miss Gold is there, then you will write yours sincerely. If dear doctor or dear nurse or dear manager something is there, then you will write yours faithfully. So now there are two options here. Yours sincerely. These are the closing remarks. Take their phone number and send me. I'll take phone pay. Okay. So this is called a number six. closing remarks closing remarks closing remarks closing remarks okay so small letters okay fine see how many things we have to see closing remarks we don't want capital letters closing remarks fine this is the closing remarks these are the closing remarks okay okay closing remarks done yeah right fine closing remarks done next another line that is another line right so this is very important you can consider this one as danger zone also okay you can consider this one as danger zone so you can put it red also so if you do mistake that's again punctuation problem so wherever the components are changing you can leave one line right so always leave one line there are many people who join and write many people i have noticed okay next one last part so the seventh one here you will write the sender's address now let us see what is the sender's address and where it is sender's address will be at the top so you are a nurse in the old town hospital and he was admitted after a fall so this is ward inpatient ward inpatient ward don't think why should we write all these things this is a part of the address inpatient ward old town so nurse you are a nurse so you are a ward nurse you are a ward nurse or registered nurse or a ward nurse okay so in the inpatient ward so admitted after a fall inpatient ward so you are in the ward now and it is old town hospital and old town so four things have come here already four things have come so you can say registered nurse or ward nurse so registered nurse registered nurse next one is inpatient ward inpatient ward then uh, old town hospital then next one is old town name of the town finished old town hospital is in old town so these are the four things you have to write if the name of your nurse is given that also you have to write right okay so that is it you got these four lines so name name is not given name not given okay so leave it name not given so leave it name not given so leave it so here the sender's address this is called the sender's address 
the so this is seven component number seven the senders address the senders address seven point one name will be there but name is not given so leave it so right next one seven point two seven point two that is registered nurse then next one seven point three inpatient award seven point four old town hospital why my students get uh, 420 440 450 this is the reason because they are very careful they will not miss anything okay they will not miss anything uh, you want to see example okay uh, where is the example i'll show you wait example one example they got 400 and above we are crying for 350 people are getting above 400 uh, so where is this yeah um, certificate congratulations china okay so here it is china so see here this is gina's result 317 listening 317 reading 400 speaking 420 writing 420 in writing how are they getting you also can get you also can get and she said sir i missed two or three important things sir because of that i lost sir otherwise i would have got 450 maybe sir um, but okay fine this is okay sir for me she told him okay this is how it is okay and uh, you can listen to this uh, gina stressed of feedback success here there is okay so if you want to listen what is her testimony i'm going to put it here for you okay you can save this okay you can save this link okay or you can click on that one it will go there directly otherwise you can just write there in the like how i type here gina just you type there okay gina okay right gina you can write and it will come directly there so then you can click the audio and you can listen to that okay what she told so you can get she told only one thing listen to simon sir whatever he tells her try to implement don't ask why say yes sir finished that is how she got it okay right so these are the five different things you have to write but name is not given so only four will be there right so now what you are supposed to do here is remember one danger is there here you have to leave two lines you have to leave two lines many people leave only one line why two lines sir yes because one line normally you leave and the second line for signature or name if missing so i'll show you in the example official sample example i'll show you why sir you are telling like this nobody taught us so i am not nobody i am simon okay i am peter sir remember that now see here everywhere one line difference and here two lines of difference i am not crazy you can think no problem simon sir is crazy no problem see here one line here one line right chitty here one line water has come check so here one line here one line here one line here one line okay you can see everywhere okay so now you see here at the bottom here at the bottom you see after you are sincerely there are two lines okay understood why two lines yes or no 
Okay, why you are leaving two lines here? Did you understand? You say yes. If you did not understand, say no. 10 seconds, fast. So you have to leave two lines, at least two lines. Every letter, you see, it's be the same. Many people leave only one line. Here, actually, normally you leave one line. Normally you leave one line. So, one line normally you leave and the second line you leave for signature or if name missing, signature or name missing, okay. There are some people, I'm telling you literally, there are some people, they think that, oh, no need, all this time waste, why this sir is explaining everything, we'll prepare on our own. Those people went and did their own, on their own. Literally, they came back to me crying and said, Sir, this time we will listen to you 100%, sir. There are. I don't want to name them. I don't want to name them. No problem, sir. We already, you already taught these things, sir. So I think we can do it now on our own. Now we'll practice for uh, 15 days. Then afterwards, last minute tips you give, sir. Crazy people. Huh? Simon sir is mad to teach all these things. Maybe for them. Okay. Maybe for them, of course. But don't be like that. They literally failed and they came back to me and they said, Sir, we will listen to you now. Tell whatever you want, sir. We listen. Okay. So, your father is taking care of you. Okay. So, listen to them. Okay, two lines. Now you understand why two lines. Now next one is closing remarks. There will be two closing remarks. What are those two closing remarks? Now let us see here. Closing remarks are of two types. One is professional. One is professional. One is personal. Personalized. One is professional. Okay. One is person known. Known person. Known person. Means known by name. Known by name. Then how you have to write? Known by name. How you have to write? So if it is known by name, you have to say yours, for example, in the beginning, you'll say, dear Miss Gold. So you know him by the name. So what you will write, yours sincerely. That's it. If you say dear Miss Gold, then you will write yours sincerely. Not known by name. Second one. Not Okay. Yeah, the same thing we'll take and we'll change. If it is not known by name, not known by name, that is a dear nurse. Dear nurse or a dear sir. Or dear madam, dear nurse, comma, sir, comma, or madam, comma. So for such things, name is not known. Like here, Miss Gold is not known. Here, name is not known. Then you will say, yours faithfully. Yours faithfully. This is different style and this is different style. Okay. So follow this one. So two types. Two types of okay. Closing remarks. Okay. One is according to according to whether we know based on our knowledge regarding the person. We know the name of the person or we do not know the name of the person. Name of the person 
concept based on name of the person. So now, understood the concept, yes or no? Please, hit the button. If you say yes, say yes. If you say no, say no. Fast, fast, fast. I have to move forward. I have to move forward. Hmm. Hello? Chapter. Hmm. 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 250 rupees. Okay, no, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. So, now here we are going to write the seventh component that is the sender's address. Okay, sender's address. Uh, that is a registered nurse. Okay. Registered nurse. Capital letter again. Everywhere it will be capital. Letter. Registered nurse. Then inpatient ward. It is given already. Inpatient ward. Uh, old town hospital. Old town. Finished. These are the things. Okay. Now here it is. 7. 7.0. 7 These are the sender's address. Okay. The sender's address. 7. The sender's uh, particulars or address. The sender's address. Okay, we'll take the sender's address here. Okay. Fine. 7.1. Okay. 7.1 should be the name. Name is not given. Okay. Name is not given. So, name. The name. 7.2, 7.2, the uh, designation, same like earlier, 7.3 is the uh, facility or hospital, 7.4 will be the uh, the, okay, 7.3 will be the, the department. Okay, here the department. The department. Department, inpatient department. Next one, the hospital. Next 7.5 will be the town or city or the city. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that is it. Fine, we got all these things now. So this will make blue. Right. Yes, very good. Now these are the other than the body parts. Other than the body parts. So now, other than the body, now let us see. Okay, all the components other than the body, the letter. Okay, concepts clear. Yes. So come on, hit the button whether you, everything is clear because we are moving to the body. We are moving to the body. We are moving to the body. Yes. Okay. 
Yes. Come on. All of you hit the button fast. Uh, only five people understood, others did not understand. One, two, three, four, five. I explained so much and nobody wants to say even yes or no. See, uh, very sad. Na? Simon sir is speaking so many things and explaining so many things and we don't have even time to say yes or no. Very sad for Simon sir. Hmm? Yes, okay. Now we have at least some 10 students. One, two, three, four, five, Rocky. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Arun, that is ten. Okay, fine. We are moving to them. Okay. Yes. Next part of them. Okay, body. Right. Those who are not participating actively, they will not be invited for the other sessions. So please participate. Now we are going for them body of the letter okay body of the letter have five components body of the letter there are five components what are those five components so fifth one 5.0 5 5.0 body of the letter yeah Right. Okay. So five point zero. Five point zero is the body of the letter. The body of the letter. Now in this body of the letter. Okay, let us see here. 5.1 5.1 is the introduction the introduction the introduction the introduction yes new or Okay, so introduction, then next one, 5.2 is the, okay, uh, the main component, the main, uh, okay, the urgent visit, if it is urgent letter, urgent visit, if it is urgent letter, or the main concern, if it is ordinary letter number 5.3 the other visits the other visits or the other concerns if it is ordinary letter concerns if it is ordinary letter okay Right. Next one. 5.4. Okay. Uh, the extra. 
details the extra the other relevant details okay the other relevant details or the histories whichever important the the yeah whichever important right the other details which are important and the last one is the conclusion the conclusion what happened to this hmm. the conclusion good afternoon sharmina just a rush and join the session because i started the body parts okay 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 tell your sangeet also inform her also to join immediately without delay okay okay, okay. right so the conclusion the conclusion so these are the five components okay these are the five components that you are going to write the body of the letter first one is the introduction the urgent visit the other visit the extra details or the conclusion for urgent type of letter the main concern the other concerns and the histories and the conclusion for the ordinary type of letters so this is the way how you are going to organize your letter so remember that so now i am going to give you different different points okay right so now the body parts the same thing i'll copy from here okay and i'm going to paste here so these are the things which we are going to deal now right yes this is it so these are the five different things the body of the letter the body of the letter ah chitti the body of the letter yes the body of the letter okay make some black tea na please class i'm starting my class now main class okay right uh now i'm going to ask you one question shall okay there are two options now option a option a is what should we write only only what should we write okay and option b is why should we write also what should we write only or why should we write also it is only a is only and b is also so a means what should we write sir explain that that is enough for us only that is enough for us that is a why should we write sir with knowledge why why we are writing everything has a purpose so we should know the purpose why you are writing here why why so that also so now you want only what you should write and finish it fast or you want me to teach why we should write so that you will generate ideas and next time without asking anybody uh, individually you can do everything so now which one you want so um, submit your choice submit your choice
so i am following you i am not telling anything against your wishes if you want i'll give you if you do not want if you do not want i leave it so now majority vote so right karuna count down how many b's and how many a's please how many b's you count down and uh, raki you count down how many a's raki you count down ha ah, ha very comfortable thank you dear you are a real darling okay oh my god god bless you my my back will shout uh, blessings for you very good i am comfortable now thank you thank you Yes, yeah, it's also fine. But it is it. It's okay. It's okay. Right. So now, right. So eleven Bs and zero As, and the others are silent spectators. Okay. Right. They are in the job maybe, or they are doing some other work maybe. Fine. No problem. Let us respect their time. Okay. The body of the letter. So introduction. what are we supposed to write in the introduction okay file open which one shall i open uh, yeah writing body of the letter body only this one can direct yes 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 correct it has taken Has brought correctly. Introduction. Okay. No, not this. Okay. Search body paragraphs. So, such words change. What is that? Purpose. Purpose. No. Purpose. 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 So, what? Purpose means free. Okay, no problem. I will tell you here. Okay, in the uh, introduction, there are okay important things, very important things. I am going to discuss regarding the introduction now. The introduction. The introduction. Okay, in the introduction, what are the parts? First one is number one. so uh who who is the person who is the person number 2 number 2 what is the status oh, sorry number 2 status number 3 the problem number four every time i teach every time i teach different different things the problem okay who the status the problem and then the purpose the purpose So this is the status. This is the person. The person, the status, the problem, the purpose. Number five. The uh, stage. The stage. The stage. Number six. The um the stage 
and the future expectation. The future expectations. And here, the present condition. The present condition. So, so these are the seven points. These are the seven points which you have to find out. These are the seven points which you have to find out. The person. Now, who is the person? Who is the person here? The person is Yeah, George Gale, Mister. So that will come here. The person is Mister George Gale. The person is Mister George Gale. Okay, fine. So this is the point. The person is Mister George Gale. Then what is the status? The status is. Here. Okay. Okay. Now presenting complaint. This is the status. Presenting complaint. Okay. Presenting complaint. Okay. Who presented with a right? So like that. Presenting complaint. So Fine. Um, where is this? Diagnosis, urinary tract infection. Urinary tract infection. See here. This is the diagnosis. What is the stage? That is why I'm asking. Is it diagnosis stage? Or is it presenting complaint? See here. Presenting complaint following a fall and then admission and then diagnosis. Now, which is more important? Which is more important? Diagnosis is more important. So, you have to write this one. Okay, because now treatment is given also and is going to discharge also. So, this now this stage is diagnosis stage, diagnosed. Diagnosed and also treated. Who was treated for urinary tract infection? Okay. Or who was diagnosed with a urinary tract infection? So this is diagnosis. The status is diagnosis. Right. The status is diagnosis. And then now the problem. Problem is urinary tract infection. Urinary tract infection. Urinary tract infection. Okay. Urinary tract infection. And the present condition is okay. Present condition is now he is set. Everything is, is recuperating, is ready for a discharge. Ready. Ready. And the purpose. Okay, the stage. Stage is the discharge stage. So that's why you're writing discharge letter. Okay. And the purpose. Right. Present condition. Present condition recuperating and ready. 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 Ready for discharge. Not ready for discharge. Ready or re not ready for discharge? Okay. Okay. Ready for discharge to the care home. Not ready for discharge back home. So that is what it is. So that is where the purpose comes. The purpose of the letter. What is he asking you there? Purpose of the letter. You go here last. Okay. Further care, further care or ongoing care, 
the purpose is further care the purpose is the purpose is further care next one so here right future expectations what they are expecting so you are asking you are sharing your concerns and recommendations and outline history outlining history so these are expected outlining history so you have to tell them about history so history should be informed they will expect that in the future they need all these things so history girls history okay next one concerns and recommendations history concerns and recommendations history concerns and recommendations so they are there now you have to write these things now so now you are supposed to write the purpose of the letter so now i am giving you okay i am giving you 5 minutes 5 minutes write the introduction using the points okay you write in 1 2 or 3 sentences if you write three sentences it is good if you write in two sentences it is better if you write in one sentence it is the best 5 minutes i am giving you okay 5 minutes i am giving you okay 5 minutes so these are the 5 minutes points so the introduction okay write all these points and create your own okay right the introduction you write your own sentence in the chat box first you write in your paper so first write in your notes then type here i will copy paste then into word in my into my do, uh, copy paste in my document then correct then only one only one introduction per person only one introduction per person okay write down write down okay because everyone will write their own styles so no problem so if you want me to correct you write down so how many are interested this is a workshop a grand master class okay with corrections yes come on how many of you are interested if you are interested okay right interested or just write yes
Yes, Malika, I am taking your sentence. You are written. Do you want me to correct this sentence or you will improve and write? Because there is a full stop. Before full stop, there is no space. After full stop, there is no space. Before full stop, there is space. Before comma, uh, there is space. After comma, there is a capital letter. Malika. Do you want to improve and write again or shall I take this one? If I take this one, I will not correct the second one. Do you want to improve and write? Say, I will improve. Okay, you improve and write then. So, like this, I'll copy and I'll paste here. So, I can paste like this, see? Okay, I can paste here. Pradnya. Okay. So, Pradnya, you want me to correct this? Yes, sir. I am correcting yes, this. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. I am copy pasting that one. Pradnya Jada. Yeah. So, remaining students also, you can do like that. So, this is Pradnya Jada. Okay, right. I am writing. What is this M? I don't know. Okay. Um, right. Review. So here, this is wrong. A should come. I am writing to update you regarding Mr. Chris George Gale. Karma should be there who was diagnosed with urinary tract infection. He requires your further care and support following his no need, his again and again. It's okay, it's correct only, it's not wrong. But uh, avoid this, avoid this. Personal pronouns, following the discharge today, better. Okay, following the discharge today. The discharge means particular discharge. Particular discharge. Uh, I'm writing to update you regarding Mr. George Gale, who was diagnosed with urinary tract infection. Pradnya, do you want only correction or you want improvement also? Both, sir. So this is just a correction? Yes, sir. So if you get do like this, maybe you will get 370 marks. But you do mistakes like this, you will get 320 marks. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Yes, but got it. Improve, but if you improve, you will get 420 marks. And if you do mistakes, still you will get 370 marks. Now tell me, correction or improvement? Improvement, sir. Definitely. Write down. For number one. Yes. Use passive voice. <laughs> you are not used to use passive voice. So you are writing in active voice. I am writing to update you regarding. So two points are there for you. Number one. Number one is. Rule number one for you. Rule number one for you. Okay. Rule number one. Avoid. Personal. Pronouns. This is for everyone, okay? Rule number two. 
avoid active voice rule number 3 um avoid okay uh, too many sentences okay right avoid too many sentences so now you have written two sentences we can write in one single sentence we can write in one single sentence how can we write in one single sentence let us see that okay Avoid writing multiple sentences. So these are the three suggestions for you. Avoid personal pronouns. Avoid active voice. Avoid writing multiple sentences. So how you can improve? So this is active voice. I am writing to you to update you. This is. i is there you is there okay he is there his is there your is there so these are the danger zones for you i okay i is personal pronoun you can see that okay you is personal pronoun he your his five times you have used pronouns avoid them okay okay uh next one you are already updating it why do you want to say i want to update you just update na when you are going to the shop and you want to buy something you want to go to a shop and you want to buy something what is that something for example a pillow you need not say i came to buy a pillow or i want to buy a pillow you need not say just say show me show me different types of pillows enough you need not say i came here to buy a pillow or i want to buy a pillow you need not say that so that is called redundant redundant so this is pratnya can you unmute yes sir if you are not are you married or do you have children small children yes sir yes okay but, but come, no problem no problem they will, there is no exactly reason, they will come to you and they will ask you hmm. mummy i want a chocolate what will you say you will say okay or you will say okay 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 i will give you a chocolate because you are asking for a chocolate i'll definitely give you a chocolate is it common sense to use all these things no should not repeat because we are doing the same thing yes if you give that is understood i am giving that is the meaning yes. right? you are giving finish yes so update no you update but why are you telling i am updating right right okay you are going to the yes. doctor and doctor is giving prescription and he will not tell you i am giving you prescription no need 
Hmm. Just to give. Right. Go collect these medications from the pharmacy and use them regularly. Finished. Oh, see, Mr. Abraham Lincoln, you came to me. You came for this problem. So I have checked you. I have after everything. Then I am giving you this prescription. If you take this prescription and go to the pharmacist, he will give you medication and uh, he will tell you what is there in the prescription and how many. All these things are not necessary, right? Right, sir. So when you are updating, the other person already knows. Okay, you are telling you are updating. Mm -hmm. That means already he knows some points regarding him, right? Yes. If you are saying, if you are updating, that means he is not up to date and you are updating. That means he has some information, right? Yes. Sir. He doesn't have up to date information, but he has some information related to a particular date. That means prior knowledge he has. Mm -hmm. You understand the, what is the meaning of update? Yes, sir. He has some knowledge regarding me, but latest mm -hmm. developments he doesn't know. So those you have to update. Mm, right. So that is the meaning of updating. And you are using the word update and you are putting here. Of course, it is correct only. That is not wrong. Mm. Is that really necessary? That is what I am asking. No. So if you up, you have to update or you want him to know that you are updating? I want him to know that I am updating. No need to mention. From this, from this, it is very clear that you want him to know that you are updating. Yes. It is very clearly understood. Okay. So when you are directly yes. after, see for example, uh, um, every time I need not tell you, I am teaching English, I am teaching English, I am teaching English. I am just teaching English, finish, na? Yes. So a person who is doing something need not tell that he is doing something. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, Just right. update the information. That's all. He is telling you yes. to update the information. He is not telling you to inform him that you are updating the information. Right. So this becomes a redundant. Now you understand? Yes, sir. It's clear. Now what do you mean by the word redundant? Sir, you are giving a new word. You are saying the word redundant. Okay, sir. We understood. We consider you. We respect you. You are telling something which is very important. I definitely agree with that. But what is the meaning of this redundant? This is every Tom, Dick and Harry do not know this word because this is C2 vocabulary. C2 means who is an expert only knows this meaning. If you do not know, that means you are not expert in English. If you are expert, you will definitely know this meaning. Redundant means not needed. Now you understand what I am talking, uh, Pradhya? Yes, sir. It is not yes, actually not, needed. not required. Yes. Unnecessary yes. because it is more than is needed. You understand? Yes. Now see here, she is a single unmarried woman. Unmarried means single only. Single means unmarried only. Why? You got it? Yes. Huh? So redundant means not necessary. It is a C2 vocabulary. What is C2 vocabulary? The person who knows C2 vocabulary will get 450 and above marks. Is that clear? Yes. A person who does not know such C2 words will not get 450 marks. That's the point. So learn C2 vocabulary. Okay? Right. So this is not necessary. The word update is not necessary. You are updating. That's enough. Right? This is what you are doing. You are informing what you are doing. Why you should inform what you are doing? Okay. Right. Now, if you are giving new information, already he will understand that you are updating. That's all. So, directly start from Mr. George Gale. Because this is more important. Here, you are becoming important. I am writing. 
I am writing. What you are, Abraham Lincoln or Margaret Thatcher or Queen Victoria or what you are. You are not so great. Anybody can write this letter. Thousands of people are writing. So there is no importance for you here. Mr. George Gale is important. So understand, focus on the important things. Number four. Number four is avoid four. Avoid unimportant or okay unnecessary um, sub, um, aspects avoid unnecessary aspects right avoid unnecessary aspects that is number four fine so right we know that you are writing regarding mr george gale so regarding so mr george gale is important so give the priority to the important things your i is not important u is not important so avoid them so straight away start with mr George Gale. So I am taking this one here. Okay, I am transforming this sentence here. Okay. Right. Now let us see here. This I am removing total. This one I am removing because nothing is important in this. Nothing is important in this. A person who is expert will definitely understand that nothing is important in these five words. I, not important, am, not important, writing, yes, you are writing, you are not singing or dancing, I am not so crazy not to understand what you are doing. To update, yeah, I know little information and if you are giving additional information, then I can understand that you are updating me. So why do you want to write this word? Regarding, yes, regarding the subject only, regarding him only you will write. So all these things I am removing. Mr. George Gale, who was diagnosed with urinary tract infection, comma, remove he, requires, remove your further care and support following the discharge today. That's it. Is that clear, uh, Pratnya? Yes. Finished? Okay. So this is how you are going to write. Mr. George Gale, keep it simple, stupid. That means K I S S kiss. Means keep it simple, stupid. That means if you want to be wise, you have to keep it simple, short, and sweet. No, nothing, nonsense. Okay. So, Mr. George Gale, who was diagnosed with urinary tract infection, requires further care and support following the discharge today. Discharge, where you are discharging, that you did not write. You wrote all the unnecessary information. Okay. But where you are discharging, you did not write. Now let us see where you are discharging, discharging to the nursing home. So to your facility. Did he come from there only? Check it out. So discharge back to your facility. Otherwise discharge to your facility. Okay. Now, this is his address. Right? You can see here. So, retired retail manager, widower, works abroad of no family, living alone in... So, he is living alone in flat. He is living alone in flat. So, this is his permanent residence. But now he is being discharged to the facility. Nursing home. 
okay nursing home and from there he will go back home but they have already been see update information means what okay so briefly outline not update there is no up, nothing called update here he did not tell you update update is a wrong word here actually update means they are not up to date you are updating them with additional things so so you cannot use the word update here okay right he is newly going there he is newly going there he is not going back to that place so it's not update they don't know anything about him okay pratna is that clear now this is for everyone not only pratna this is everyone excellent explanation sir thank you so much relevant information okay the pleasure is mine now do you still want to know why so i am explaining why you should use and why you should not use that is what you told me so if you still want to use say yes if you don't want all this nonsense say no come on first submit your answer you cannot use the word update here update is a very special word which means uh, he knows uh, something and latest developments he does not know then you can say update how can you use the word update here that's the point don't just scatter the words as you like anybody right so here where is he going he is going to a totally new place that is a nursing home so they don't know anything about him so you cannot update anything because they don't know anything whatever you tell it is totally new for them okay right so you provide information hey, whatever you provide information that is new to them only there is nothing update you only provide information to them this is okay that's it so outline outline means only outline only important things briefly outline not everything only the necessary important things you have to outline that's it right now here uh, following the discharge further care and support at your facility follow the following the discharge or fall uh, following the discharge to your facility to your facility today here if you write you will write to your facility so that was missing or here you will write if you want to write here you will write at your facility if you want to write it will be at your facility here if you want to write here to your facility care and support at your facility or following the discharge to your facility anywhere you can write that one but there it will be at your facility here it will be to your facility okay so wherever you want to write you can write that's up to you right so i am leaving one okay and i am keeping only the second following the discharge to your facility today you wrote many things which are not required and you wrote did not write okay where he is getting discharged so to your facility okay right so that is very clear next this is if you write like this you will get 450 marks okay without any mistakes right next so i think uh, you understood most of you got uh, the points there now next uh, so right that is pradnya then sonal khavade sonal is there yeah sonal you can unmute yes sir so, sonal do you want me to correct your paper uh, question yes sir yes sir. is this sonal lakhan sonal kavad k a v a d sonal kavad there was another sonal lakhan so that's why i was asking where are you from 
from Gujarat. From Gujarat. Okay, Sonal Khawar. Okay. So this is you have written here, but yeah, it is incomplete. Here. I think, right? Yeah, I written here already in my notes. Oh, okay, my I'll see that later. I'll see that later then. Okay, one second. Let me check. Where did you write? Sonal, Sonal, Sonal. So can Sonal. I write? Uh, wrote, uh, what was I written in my notes? Yeah, you can. You can complete. You can complete. You can complete and send. Then next round I'll give you. No worries. Okay, next one. Rakhi. Yes, Rakhi. sir. Rakhi. Okay, Rakhi. Shall I yes. correct your uh, sentence? Yes, of course. Okay. Because there are some students, you know, they don't want me to correct in front of everybody. That is also their problem. Excuse me, yeah. sir. Sir. Yes, dear. Yes, sir. Actually, it was disconnected due to network problem. So I couldn't get the last. Uh, okay, thing, no sir. problem. You can write now. No problem. Uh, I'll take a screenshot, sir. Yeah. But if you send the screenshot, then again, I have to type. No, better you type and send, you know. Okay, sure, sir. I'll do that. Uh, because I uh, I can directly copy paste, no? Yes, yes, sure. Okay, this is uh, who is this? Yeah, this is um, Rocky. Rocky to everyone. Okay. All right. So, Rocky to everyone. Mr. George Gale requires continuity of care and support following his discharge today. So, he is recovering from urinary tract infection. Okay, fine. So, they are taking recuperation stage. Okay. Now, there is this. And not here. Review. Yeah. Mr. George Gale requires continuity of care and support following his discharge today. He is recovering from urinary tract infection. Very good. Very good. Right. So this can be, this, there are no mistakes in this one. There is no mistake in this one. Okay. But both are active voice. There is no passive voice. So you will pass. But still, if you make mistakes, you will fail. So 350 borderline. Okay. okay, Mr. Okay. Uh, George Gale, comma, who has been not is recovering now means only now recovering. Maybe okay. three or four days he is recovering, na? Yeah, yes, yes. So continuation is there, long process. It is not just now he is recovering this minute and previous minute he was not recovering. What do you say? Huh? He is recovering yeah, yeah, okay, at the moment. Means now. Yeah, okay. About one hour back, he was not recovering. Yeah, it's recovering. Yeah. So he I, has I got been recovering. So grammatical error, okay? Okay. Who has been recovering from urinary mm -hmm. tract? So that was the mistake there. Okay. You have to mm -hmm. say he has mm -hmm. been recovering. I missed okay. that. Who has been recovering? Okay, that was a mistake. Actually, I did not notice that. I'm sorry for that. Okay, Mr. George Gale, who has been recovering from urinary tract infection, comma, requires. That's it. You know, instead of a diagnosis, you are saying recovering, huh? Uh, recovering or recuperating. Fine. Requires. Now you have to say continuity of care and support okay at your facility following the discharge today there is no he there is no she there is no okay your okay. facility okay right so that is simple this is another type okay is that clear yeah, yes, I'm clear, sir. Are you Thank happy you. with the correction or are you upset, no. sir? What, sir? This is something new you are giving. No, no, I'm happy with your correction. Yeah, it's okay. really excellent. 
Okay, okay. Thank you very much. So this is uh, Radnya. Okay. Next. Right. Print screen. Okay. Right. Next. This is Rocky. Print screen. Your sentence is there in the telegram. All your corrected sentences. Okay. Fine. Next. Uh, next uh, after rocky so i'm not teaching the entire letter okay i'm teaching you how to write sentences structures that is what it is because nobody can write a hundred percent correct letter at least correct sentences you learn first sentences you learn first pradnya sunal deepthi 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 is here Okay, how I missed this deep dish? Okay, deep tea. Yes, sir. Okay, deep tea, deep tea, deep tea. I heard this name, deep tea. Which one? Second name? Uh, Kumar, sir. Uh, deep tea, Kumar. Now I remember. You are my regular student. Okay. So, review. Regular students means I can give serious hammer strokes. New students means I have to be a little careful. Otherwise, you know. They'll get angry. Okay. So this is from Deepthi to me. Okay. Um, so Deepthi, you have some problem with punctuation. Okay. Okay, sir. Review. All right. Yeah. I am writing to refer. This is not at all a referral letter. This is a big mistake, Adipti. Okay, sir. This is a discharge letter. We have noticed that it was a discharge letter, right? Deepthi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How can you use the word refer? Blindly, you cannot jump into a fire, no? Huh? Correct or not? Yes, sir. I am writing. Nobody is thinking that you are singing and dancing. Okay, writing yes, is not sir. everyone will write only a letter. Will anybody sing a letter? Will anybody dance a letter? There is no, it's it's totally un, unnecessary. Okay, yes, people write because they don't know what to write, they will fill in fill in all garbage. You understand what I'm telling? Yes, yes, sir. I'm not telling it is wrong. Yes, the sentence is correct. I am writing to refer or I'm writing to discharge or I'm writing to transfer. Whatever you want, everything is right. There is no problem. But is that necessary? It, no, sir. If you, for example, if you tell, uh, I am writing in the notebook. Yeah, you'll write only in the notebook. No, you'll not sing or dance in the notebook. It's just common sense. That's understood. What is already understood, you need not write. It is just a filling with the words. It's just a stuffing, stuffing, stuffing with nonsense things. That's all. So that is not at all important. Everybody. And I, why should you bring yourself into the picture? Anybody can write. Any nurse can write. So what is special in you? You are not important. OET tells you. I'll show you. That is why I'm telling you, write passive voice, write passive voice. I'll bring OET in front of you, wait. What does OET tell you? Okay. OET. Writing. Okay. Passive. Voice. Fine. Now, if you see, now, occupational English, it is asking you, do you know how to write passive forms correctly? It is asking you, do you know how to write passive forms correctly? Because you see here, I'm showing you that one. I will increase the size. I don't want to go. To, I don't want to go to the website there. I want to show you here. Passive forms are great for making. Now see here. That I am writing here. 
Okay. Passive forms are great for making the patient or treatment the focus of sentence. And you are making yourself the focus of sentence. I. Am I correct or not, Deepu? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Are you so important that you are ignoring the patient who is the prime concern and you are saying, I. What is you? What are you? You are a nurse. Like any other nurse. If this letter is given to anybody, anybody can write. So what is your speciality to say that I. So don't make a, I the focus of the sentence. Make the patient the focus of the sentence or make the treatment the focus of the sentence. That is what it is telling you. Understand now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I think you can see it there. So what is important? Passive forms are great for making the patient or treatment the focus of the sentence. So make them the focus of the sentence. Right. So use passive voice. Why you are using passive voice to make the patient the focus of the sentence. Make the treatment the focus of the sentence. That means bring it forward. Instead of that, you are bringing yourself and say, I is the first word in the sentence. Why are you not making Mr. George again the focus of the sentence by bringing him forward? Is that clear? Yes, sir. That is the concept. So bring Mr. George again. Okay, Mr. George Gale, comma, who has been recuperating from urinary tract infection, where is space after full stop? Why don't you leave space after full stop? And when you say who, you have to put comma on both the sides. Okay. And requires further care from your facility following the discharge following the discharge today is that clear? Yes, sir. So simple. It's correct. Everything is fine. Okay. Okay, this sir. Is how you can write. Deepthi. Yes, sir. So this is how you are supposed to write. Print the screen. Okay. Okay, sir. Right. Next step. So, every day I'll teach one thing and you can write the letters based on those. Fine, next step. Um, okay, now let us see. Three examples we have corrected. Um, now let us see the case notes. Here is the case notes. What are the important things that you have to write? I will show you. Okay. Hmm. Now, so here, close, I'm giving you the important information what you can write. So, temporary care, this is important. Temporary care, very important. Further care, important. Then next one is, what else you have to say? Um, what are the important things, let us see, which you have to include, okay? So 85 years, we have already uh, written the date of birth. If you want, you can use 85 years, okay? Then uh, you can use his alone now, single, that is he's a widower, 
okay is a widower right uh, recently 2019 recently okay then next one um what else is there living alone yeah is living alone okay and this is own flat okay is living alone and it is his own flat that's it introduction is over what are the other important things i am telling you the next one so now what happened you are telling about his uh, personal things he is telling about his personal things what happened main 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 problem main problem so main problem is he is old and he is alone so that's why he fell down nobody was there to look after him so he is widower and he lives alone and then what happened so so disorientation and fever following a fall because of that he um, was admitted okay he was admitted so but what happened there here you see so fall on 9th may so you have to write 9th may this was reported by him reported by him so it was while brushing teeth you see here while brushing teeth is it important while brushing teeth or while singing a song no need that is not that much important that is not that much important but what happened he fell down that is important and a head strike that means he hit his head he hit his head right and after 5 years 5 hours after approximately 5 hours okay after 5 hours neighbors heard his shout neighbors heard his shout for help okay after 5 hours roughly and then they called the ambulance that is the next day early morning 10th may that's it so what is important already you are saying after 5 hours okay so next now what he is telling a story how he is building up the story right how he is building up the story fine so he is building up the story he is telling that he felt weak right he felt weak that's very important and he fell down he fell down okay he fell he fell back the backwards he did not know how he was falling so this falling suddenly down is called sudden fall you can say like uh, you know uh, what word you can use mm. what word you can use come on you tell me type a word which you can use here fall suddenly fall suddenly without knowledge without anything without any idea what is the word called we can use the word letter starts with c i'm giving you a clue come on you know this word you know this word for example a building is there if you put bombs what happens suddenly it start with c starts with c think think all of a sudden yes see how many students are able to write see this is what it is i gave you an example i need not write that one and I'm, i'm making you think sudden fall is called collapse we don't know what is happening also that is it so what is the power of this word now let me tell you he fell down anybody can write he fell down but if you use this word that is called powerful now let us see what is the power of this word c o l l a p s e collapse what is the level of this word b2 that means this is 350 power word 
if you use collabs you will get about 350 marks but nobody use this uses this word they will use f a l l fall what is the power of this word a2 that means 200 marks you are using 200 marks why are you not using 350 words mark mark words so now you understand what is the power of vocabulary why you people are not getting marks you could have used the word collapse but did any one of you write the word collapse all of a suddenly all of a sudden or suddenly he collapsed okay collapsed suddenly two words or all of a sudden he fell down seven words see here what is the difference between this and this so all of a sudden he fell down see this one and you said collapsed collapsed suddenly two words what is the difference 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 words and two words the quality is it maximize maximize quality minimize word number word count there are two things you have to follow maximizing write down in your notes maximizing quality two edged sword number two minimizing quantity minimizing quantity number of words maximize quality minimize words so these are the two essential things two edged sword apply these things and it will be beneficial for you right okay then apply these things and it will be beneficial for you right so fine next next points are what else you can write here now here he reported some things here you see single episode of vomiting who knows nobody knows he only knows single episode of vomiting single episode of vomiting is there that is two weeks before a fall two weeks before fall a fortnight write down two weeks two weeks is equal to a fortnight Let's write something new don't copy the words from the okay another suggestion do not copy the words from the case notes as they are because they are not your words they are not your number one they are not your words that means you are borrowing their words number one and number two they are not extraordinary words they are just ordinary words okay they are not your words and they are not extraordinary words so then why are you using such words firstly they are not your words second one they are not extraordinary words so why are you using such words so now here the word is two weeks now is this special no you can use the word a fortnight i don't know whether you can use this word there are two types of words some are active words and some are passive words active words means the words which you speak and write are active words but the words which you hear and read are passive words because you don't know those words you don't know how to use those words okay now what do you mean by a fortnight go to cambridge dictionary fortnight f o r t n i g h t fortnight now what is fortnight fortnight means b1 b1 means 300 marks 
then what is weak 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 is a1 you are using 200 mark word instead of 300 mark word weak anybody can write a1 even a first class student can write I am asking you one question now. Okay, I am going to ask you one question. Week is 200 mark word. 200 marks. This will give you 200 marks. And fortnight will give you 300 marks. Now, which do you want to prefer? You want uh, special words or you want ordinary vocabulary or extraordinary vocabulary? Your target is what? A1 word. A1 means beginner in English. You are using the word weak means that shows that you are a beginner in English. When you know he is telling two weeks, is he mad to give the word two weeks? He is telling you fortnight. Fortnight is B1, increased from beginner, elementary, pre-intermediate or lower intermediate. That means plus two student, not even plus two student, graduate. Okay. So, now try to understand this one. Why are you not using better word? Fortnight, fortnight is okay. A period of two weeks is called a fortnight. Why don't you use this word? Don't you realize that? Don't you realize that this is this will give you more marks when you see the two weeks immediately your mind should strike and you should say a fortnight. That means you are not activating your mind because you don't even realize that there is a word called fortnight. If somebody tells fortnight, maybe you will understand or you will not even know the word. So use such words. Use such words. Fortnight. Then next. Uh, so two weeks means fortnight. Okay, then he had palpitations and dysuria. Okay, so now here these were reported. Okay, before the word is before. Before, can you write any word other than before? Come on, write down. I'm giving you 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Any other words? Write down whatever you know you can write. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I already told these words before. Number of words I have taught yesterday only in reading. Uh, you don't remember that? Okay. Yeah. So why don't you activate and use these words? prior to earlier a fortnight earlier okay a fortnight earlier or during the previous fortnight okay okay then next one you can write like that so why don't we write The next step. all these things occurred. The next, step. why don't you change this? Don't use the word before because it is already there. Right. Next one. So because of this, what happened? He was admitted to the hospital. He was admitted to the hospital early in the morning was admitted 10 May, 3 a.m. Okay. 
he was admitted to the hospital and he was admitted to the hospital which hospital which hospital hospital admission which hospital your hospital that is old town hospital to which hospital old town hospital your hospital it is there here take it from here old town hospital take it from here no problem he was admitted to the old town hospital yes and and what are the presenting complaints okay with what was he admitted there hospital admission see there so disorientation was there okay he did not know what happened what happened everything disorientation the next one temperature you see here temperature 38.1 degrees centigrade what do you mean by that that is very high that means what what do you mean by 38.1 degrees centigrade what do you call that condition write down if you know what is 31 degrees centigrade that is high what is it huh? what is that condition it starts with f only but what is that condition temperature yeah high fever yes high fever so now thank you high fever yes okay then next one very good high fever the next one. now so these are the symptoms and because of these symptoms he was diagnosed with urinary tract infection don't write uti write urinary tract infection okay that's it this is building up the story this is the first paragraph this is the first paragraph okay 10th may when he came to the hospital and all okay then this is the main problem this is the main problem fall next one what are the other problems he has other concerns second paragraph and the second paragraph you see he has hypertension he has before that osteoarthritis okay he has hypertension and he has osteoarthritis and for these things okay for osteoarthritis he takes paracetamol and for hypertension he takes felodipin when you take osteoarthritis which is so going from now to the past so take hypertension now and then ask your arthritis after that because now it is 2020 or 2019 go slowly back hypertension and then osteoarthritis he has hypertension recently and osteoarthritis even before not recently 10 years back and osteoarthritis maybe 17 years back so going from present to past he has hypertension and osteoarthritis for which he is using felodipine and paracetamol respectively okay and other than that ongoing monitoring this is another one so gastroesophageal reflux disease is there but self treated with that self treated with antacid tablet self treated nothing you are going to do for that now so ongoing monitoring only monitoring that's all no treatment ongoing monitoring is required for what a non specific colitis okay so these three things you have to write these are the other important problems this will go into second paragraph other histories other problems other problems because this is a discharge letter this is paragraph number 2 this you will write paragraph number 2 non serious problems paragraph 
not serious problems these are not serious problems and this is the serious problem because it had to admit to the hospital so it is really a serious problem so this is problem main problem okay paragraph 1 and why this happened background also you will give he is old and nobody is there so one day he fell down all the story will go there so paragraph 1 paragraph 1 okay paragraph 1 and this is paragraph 2 other than important problems okay paragraph 2 so two paragraphs are over now you have the present condition during discharge how he is and what you are expecting him to do so now so what now is ready to for discharge this is his present condition this is his present condition now this is will go into the third paragraph what will go into the third paragraph let us see here so now see here what are important here right what are important all right so once again last paragraph this is a discharge letter remember that okay fine okay so now now see here significantly lower the mobility now you see that his present condition his mobility is very less he cannot walk freely so that is why encouragement should be given for what 30 minutes per day what physical activity okay exercise or any activity to regain mobility to regain mobility so that is what one point you have to write the next one is okay now he is facing these episodes still episodes of confusion now urinary tract infection has been treated okay urinary tract infection has been treated okay so ut uti urinary tract infection so treatment record see here now now see here all the things medications continued patient regular medications continued right nil dizziness observation nil palpitations nil dizziness and nil palpitations so is recovering here fine so but okay successfully treated okay right with iv antibiotics treatment is successful that's why observations are nil so these observations are nil so successfully treated nil dizziness nil palpitations so from this you can understand that uh, uti was treated successfully with iv antibiotics that's very clear finished that's no problem anymore but still he has episodes of confusion okay the next one assessment is required whether he can go home or not until then once he is perfectly right for independent living he cannot be sent home so assessment is recommended 
assessment is recommended so they should make an assessment whether he is perfectly recovered and he can go home or not okay so this is third paragraph paragraph number 3 these are the three points these are the three points paragraph three paragraph three okay so paragraph 3 yes paragraph 1 what is this paragraph 2 yes so we got all the three paragraphs conclusion conclusion you can write like this conclusion you can write like this where is this not this yeah based on the aforementioned circumstances based on the aforementioned circumstances would be profoundly beneficial in case any additional information is required please do not hesitate to contact me so based on the aforementioned circumstances okay what are the things required here so you go to the case notes and you see what you are asking them to do okay what you are asking them to do in your letter briefly address outline mr gail's history as well as your concerns and recommendations okay follow that is different but further care already you used for their care change the word appropriate management regular supervision and appropriate management okay you can write here appropriate okay uh, regular monitoring and appropriate management of who is this mr gail apostrophe s gail's condition condition would be profoundly beneficial based on the aforementioned mentioned circumstances comma regular monitoring and appropriate management of mr gail's condition would be appropriately beneficial uh, many people write many different things uh, it would be appreciated if you could kindly monitor it would be appreciated if you kindly monitor 
all these things so why all those things it would be greatly appreciated why should you appreciate somebody for doing uh, one's duty hey, they are doing your duty why should you appreciate somebody for doing duty see for example simon sir is teaching it doesn't mean that simon sir needs appreciation he is doing his responsibility there is no need to appreciate somebody who is doing his job there is no meaning in appreciating it is whether you appreciate or don't appreciate he has to he do his duty why are you appreciating somebody to why what is the need why should you appreciate him he is bound to do that and we are not beggars we are professionals okay please kindly all these things too much we are not begging somebody we are a professional and they are professionals whether it is nurse or a doctor or a physiotherapist or anybody itself no need to request too much we are all equal in professions maybe different professions but everyone has importance nobody is less nobody is more a doctor cannot do nurse's job and a nurse cannot do doctor's job if you can understand the importance of them so this is called professional respect don't degrade professional respect for don't fall flat on the ground please note that means other things you should not note only this is you should note please note that means that particular sentence only please note remaining no need to note ha huh? what nonsense it is ha huh? i don't know why many people are teaching all these things i don't know please note that means you are writing 20 sentences okay who is there whom i can ask uh, ha huh. karuna yeah karuna unmute please yeah. yes sir you are tell you are writing 20 sentences and one sentence you are telling please note that means others are not all are equally important sir why are you saying please note only to this right everywhere please note no yes it doesn't make any sense if you are writing 20 sentences and one sentence you are saying please note means remove all the other things and say only one thing no please note this do you understand the sense what i am talking yes yes sir i got it another sentence kindly note that means these two sentences keep and remaining sentences throw in the garbage na huh? why are you writing please note why please are we beggars please 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 How many times? Please note, kindly note. Huh? Why should you appreciate? Why should you say please? Why should you request so much? Falling flat on the ground. In our language, they say "sastanga namaskara." That means fall on the ground and uh, pray to God, like that one. Yes. Hmm? That is not required here. So you can write down this sentence. okay yes sir write down the sentence you can use them the same style or i change their style appreciated why should we appreciate huh? is he doing any favor to me or to you is getting his salary is doing his job is doing his job perfectly fine if he doesn't do he will only lose his job yes so what is the need for telling please by by law okay by professional uh, responsibility he is bound to do that one so no need so much please kindly there are many people who write two times please and two times kindly no? don't do okay now i have explained yes, the complete letter okay yes now i am going to ask you some questions okay uh what is the question the question is complete letter complete letter okay um workshop 
target accomplished according to my knowledge it is accomplished so do you agree so you can write yes or you can write no submit everything i told everything i told if everything is clear you can just type yes if it is not clear you can say no every day i'll explain one or two or three letters like this but every day not like this first day first letter this is this group this batch new students are that's why i explained okay yes now fata fat when i ask you just can answer okay open your mic and answer otherwise don't open your mic okay so i love participants to unmute your themselves okay uh let me start with uh, yes sonal yes sir sonal can you share your experience sonal yeah one more thing okay so i am going to start a new batch okay mm -hmm. i'm going to start a new batch so if anybody is interested you can tell okay okay now i am fully strong i had some difficulty last week so actually last week i took uh, less admissions so i'm going to take admissions seven admissions i'm going to take anybody is interested in full course 100 days or 30 days short term course okay you can ask me or march 5th batch okay crash course so you can ask me you can join okay and if anybody is interested you can send me a personal message okay my whatsapp number is this okay whatsapp dot me so if anybody is interested you can contact me so this is a mid february batch mid february batch 15th is coming so mid february batch okay so this is uh, whatsapp dot me yeah copy link yes you can share your experience anybody you want to write you can write that is my whatsapp link you can message me if you want only reading or only writing or only listening or only speaking you can join there okay um then next one uh okay so now coming to the point i will be discussing with you people yeah sunal yes yeah, share your experience what did you learn today today sir i learned full of for later because i don't know how to write later and all because i i am a beginner so i try to letter how to write and all it's my yes. good uh, i am learning so much thing to how to write uh, uh, starting to end each and every don't you think that simon sir is very mad because he is teaching too many long 3 hours he is teaching what he is teaching on sense wasting our time we are very special we are nurses how much work we have we have uh, office work we have hospital work we have house work we have lot of things and simon sir is wasting so much time for us huh correct no sonal yes sir yes no wasting simon sir is wasting your time right no 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 sir sir sir, sir. <laughs> <laughs> very good thank you thank you you made me huh roar with laughter very good okay then and with jacob uh, yes sir you yes, share your experience uh so it was a, a wonderful experience uh, i could know the exact structure and uh, c2 vocabulary also new words i can uh, come to know uh, that means we um, maybe we have come across before but uh, to the actual scenario we uh, usually we don't use that words so you have made us uh, understand where to use the uh, particular words 
Okay, thank you very much. Okay, you are from Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, next one, Aruna Lawrence from UK. Aruna Lawrence. Yes, share your experience, Aruna. Sir, I have learned so many new words which we didn't learn previously. And I learned how to organize a letter in proper way. Hmm. Is the explanation and style and everything different from others or is it the same? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's different from other people who taught many in their teaching in many centers with the repetitive words. There's no exact, uh, like the level of language is below the C2 languages. Hmm. So today we have learned the vocabulary, which is equal B2 levels, which can increase our score. Hmm. So to summarize, it is excellent class, sir. Okay, don't miss any class, whichever I am giving you, don't miss. I'm yeah, giving fine. lectures for the people who are going for the 19th exam. Okay, sir, fine, fine, thank you. Don't miss any lecture which is given. And I give a link just to jump into it, leave everything, forget everything. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Fine. Next is uh, Bina Babua. I think this is Bina. Hello, Bina. Hello, Bina. Yes, sir. Yeah, good Bina, afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Come on. Sir, it, uh, Come. this is a wonderful class. I learned a lot of things from your class, sir. In middle... At the half of the class, uh, I already finished at, the, at that time only I was also ended to your Zoom meeting because I was busy with my kids for morning time. So mm. me, in between only half of the class I attended now, but it is very beneficiary for me. Mm. Okay, that's good, that's good. Thanks right. a lot, sir. Yeah, next, uh, next is uh, Divya de Souza. Divya deserves a DD. What is this Bina Babu BB? Divya deserves a DD. Oh, ba, ba, ba. Hmm. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Hello? Yes, dear, come on. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, previous letter, my there was uh, different. Now, first time I written letter that is different. Now, it I am writing it is different letter, sir. Because hmm. that much improvement uh, through, through your class I got, sir. Mm. So Thank next you time so much. I, ask me, I want to I want to prepare for OET. You tell them don't go to uh, Simon sir. Go to anybody else, but don't go to Simon sir because he waste our time and teach all what he teaches. We don't know. Instead of taking half an hour class, he'll take four hours classes. So don't go to Simon sir. You have to tell. Okay. No sir. Nice class. Excellent class sir. We got nice experiencing, sir. And uh, our, in the letter, I so much improvement also there, sir. Very good, very good. Evelyn Susan. Thank you. Evelyn Susan. Yes, sir. Yeah, Evelyn yeah. Susan, share, me, share your experience. It is wonderful class, sir. I'm, actually, I don't know how the um, order to write. But now I learned many, many things, sir. Okay, okay, fine. Very good, very good. Next one is Karuna Nagar. Karuna Neherkar. Yes, sir. Yes, Karuna. Uh, sir, it was really excellent uh, experience as I am appearing for exams uh, on coming 19th. Uh, so uh, it has given me a much better confidence compared to previous one. And uh, uh, I learned how to uh, write, uh, write a specific purpose and uh, the, you know, uh, that closing sentences. Okay. Good, good, good. Right. Okay. Then next, uh, Mallika.
ملکا اوکے ہلو یا ملکا ہلو گڈ آفٹرون سر گڈ آفٹرون سر ٹیلگرام گروپ سر so your uh, teaching was very excellent that is the reason i have joined in your class first experience is best experience for me i learned a lot sir very good thank you pradnya jadav yes sir sir as usual it's a very excellent class and i've shared everything on <laughs> everything to you as well as karuna uh, whatever i got from this class and uh, uh, mostly it has give the clear structure how to break the monotonous structure of writing like i am writing to update you and all this so i have learned how we can avoid that and um, how to use the c2 language dictionary um and uh, yes uh, that concluding part so the, you have suggested the conclusion which is totally different i have not learned from anywhere else so that's that's great thing sir thank you so what the thing is my students are heroes and heroines and uh, <laughs> side actors see <laughs> so thank you sir yes we will make you proud sir a hero. yes we will make you proud surely sir sure, definitely definitely you will that is the reason why i am giving you all these things definitely and uh, next one is uh, silver hello silver came just now i think okay fine so everyone is done so that's the end of the day have a nice day bye bye i'm going for lunch now and we'll meet you later what time sir i don't next know time? whenever i get mood i'll get class that's all Okay. So anyhow, three o'clock class is there, but I think a little delayed will start reading okay. classes. But uh, okay. I'm planning to take instead of reading, I'm planning to take listening today. Yes, sir. That will be really beneficial for us because me and Karuna we have exam. Yeah, I am taking to, uh, evening. I'll take reading full, but uh, now I'll take listening. Yes, sir. Thank okay, you, sir. Bye. Bye, sir.